Hey guys, welcome to channel Dhankagi. In this video, I'll show you how to add tabs to your Flutter application. So to do that, we'll have to use bottom property of the app bar. I'll set this bottom property to a tab bar widget. Tab bar widget has a property called tabs, which takes in a list of widgets. And here, we can specify the list of tabs that we want. So I'll add three tab widgets here and I'll set the text property of this tab as incoming call, outgoing call and missed call. Next, we will have to wrap the scaffold widget with a default tab controller. Default tab controller requires a length property which tells the number of tabs we want. Now we will add a tab bar view widget to the body property of this scaffold. Tab bar view is just like a page view widget and it takes a list of widgets as its children. For each tab, I'll create a list view and to keep the code clean, I'll use a method called build list view with name. We'll define this method later. Keep in mind that this list has to be in same order as the tab bar list. So for the first list view, I'll pass a string saying incoming call. I'll repeat this method two more times with appropriate strings. Next, let's define this method. The method will return a list view and inside the body, I'll return a list view builder. This builder will take a build context and an index as input and will return a list style. The title for each style will be a text. In this text, I'll use the input string s and will append it with the current index. And now if I save this code, you can see that three tabs get created under the app bar. If I click on any of the tabs, the body of this scaffold also updates and shows the correct list. Now, let's also take a look at some other important properties of tab bar. First one is the indicator weight. This controls the thickness of indicator that you see under the tabs. We'll set it to 10 pixel and save the code. You can see that the indicator is a little bigger now. You can also change the indicator color using indicator color property. There are some properties to change style and color of the tab labels too. Also, if you want to do some special processing when a tab is switched, you can use the on tab property. There is one property called is scrollable. I'll quickly show you how to use that. First, let's increase the length of this tab bar to 6. And now we will have to add 3 more tabs to the tab bar. And we will also have to add 3 more lists in the tab bar view. For now, I'll call them as tab 4, tab 5, and tab 6. And if I save this code now, you will find that we are not able to see the names of tabs completely. This is because tab bar is trying to fit all the tabs in a limited space. We can solve this problem by using the is scrollable property of tab bar. Setting it to true will allow the tab bar to scroll horizontally and all the content of the tab bar label will be shown properly. So that was it for tab bar guys. If you like this video hit the like button, if you disliked it hit the dislike button and please subscribe for more such content.